Barney's Horse by Sid Hoff. Long ago, horses pulled wagons up and down the streets. There were, were even horses that pulled streetcars. Barney, the peddler, that's Barney, rode down the street with his horse and wagon shouting, apples, oranges, onions, potatoes, get your apples, onions, potatoes, right over here. Ladies came out of their houses to buy from Barney. Barney's horse stood at the curb waiting. He swished his tail to chase away the flies. Children petted him and they fed him sugar cubes. That's good, children. Always be kind to animals, said Barney the peddler. Barney let them sit on the horse's back. He let them ride on the wagon around the block. Then Barney would ride off to another street. Goodbye, children, said Barney. I will see you tomorrow. One day, men came with picks and shovels, and they started to dig. Barney and his horse stopped at the curb and watched. Some people will be riding on trains over our heads, said Officer Muldoon. A city has to grow, said Barney the peddler, and he petted his horse. All day, Barney sold fruits and vegetables all over town. When it got late, people heard cloppity clop, cloppity clop, cloppity clop as Barney headed back to the stable. Barney brushed his horse and put a blanket on him. Good night, sleep tight, said Barney to his horse. And Barney himself went to sleep right next to his horse. It was the day the train started running and people climbed the stairs to get on these trains. Men with push cards, push carts stared up at them. Dogs and cats were staring too. They had never seen anything like this. Screech, screech, went the wheels on the tracks. The trains swayed, the ground shook. Runaway horse, runaway horse, someone shouted. Down the street ran Barney's horse pulling the wagon. I wonder if the train sounds scared the horse. Whoa, wait for me, shouted Barney. But Barney's horse ran faster and faster. Children tried to catch him but Barney's horse was too fast for them. Officer Muldoon stepped off the curb and waved his arms. Whoa, old feller, whoa, he said softly. Nobody wants to hurt you. Barney's horse came to a halt. He let the policeman hold him and pet him until Barney caught up with them. I guess your horse will have to get used to the train, said Officer Muldoon. We will all have to get used to them, said Barney the Peddler. Barney petted his horse. He gave him a big juicy apple. Then he got back on the wagon and rode off shouting, apples, onions, potatoes. Get your apples, onion, potatoes right over here. The city grew and grew. More and more trains ran. The ground shook under them, but Barney's horse did not seem to mind. He never ran away again. He must have gotten used to the noise. Well, almost never. He knew Barney needed him. And that's the story of Barney's Horse by Sid Hoff.